Hello there, uh, this is a Blender Daily Tip where I show you a tip uh, that can speed up your workflow. Uh, so today we're going to be looking at uh, the mirror tool. No, I'm not talking about the mirror modifier, but uh, the mirror tool. So let's say you have, you're creating an object with symmetry, uh, say this object here, and uh, let's remove uh, this side and uh, add a mirror modifier. Uh, I don't, this tip is not about the mirror modifier, but I just, I want to demonstrate to you how it works in conjunction with the mirror modifier. So you have your model, you're adding uh, things on this side. Uh, let me just rotate this and uh, like this, uh, bring this up. Just want to have some details, small details here that, uh, we, that can show you how uh, the mirror modifier works. Uh, let me also turn on cavity and random colors just to uh, really see what's going on here. So. Let's say this is the object you want. Uh, you, you have your mirror modifier. And uh, so whatever you're doing on this side uh, is also being done on this side. But sometimes you want to add smaller details in here that may require uh, symmetry within themselves. Say what I'm talking about is say you have, let's say, let me see, let me see what, what details can we add here. Say, let me just do it here on this side here. Let, let's say you have, uh, an object, a part of this mesh or object uh, that has its own symmetry. Let's say we have a, let's model something simple here, uh, but uh, it should also have symmetry. And let's uh, say you use uh, the mirror modifier. Uh, this kind of detail. You see, it has symmetry as well, but uh, you, you want it to be on this object here. So we can just join this to this and you, just, you will see it will be repeated on this side, but uh, the problem now is that uh, it's losing uh, its mirror because it's being applied to this object. So uh, using the mirror tool, uh, let's just bring this closer to this object here. Let me bring this out here. So you can use the mirror tool uh, by, so to have, to give this object uh, symmetry uh, or a duplicate on this side like we had for uh, the mirror modifier when we had the mirror modifier. You can just select the edge where you expect this symmetry to be, so like here, and then shift is cursor selected so that you have your cursor at the edge there, and then you can select uh, this entire object, uh, which you can select by box selecting or just select a vertex on it and then hold down Control L to select the entire mesh, and then uh, you can hit Shift D to duplicate that part. Uh, don't move your cursor. Okay, when you move your cursor, just uh, right click uh, to snap uh, your selection back to its position and then change your pivot point uh, to the 3D cursor. And the way you do that, you just uh, press your, uh, I think it's a, a full stop uh, to get this menu here and then change uh, the pivot point uh, to 3D cursor and use the shortcut Control M to mirror uh, this in uh, any axis you want are uh, using this uh, 3D cursor as your pivot point. And you can see we have mirrored this object on this side without using uh, the mirror modifier. So you can do this again. Let me just make sure that I, we can see these lines clearly. Maybe, let me just add a bevel modifier here uh, so that we can see all the elements better. Uh, so let's say uh, we, we select this portion here. I'll just hit J to subdivide it like that and uh, maybe delete uh, this side and have I selected everything? Okay, so we still have this bottom face, I'll just delete that. So let's say we, we're adding a few extra details on this. I'll just extrude a few faces like this. But I uh, want this also to be mirrored on this side. So, so that is a full uh, knob like that. Again, we can use uh, the mirror tool. I just control L, select an edge, control L to select uh, that uh, mesh. And then, uh, before you do that, make sure you have uh, the center, uh, you have your cursor at where you want the symmetry, uh, the line of symmetry to be. So if I want it uh, a little bit away from this, I can just put it, I can just hold down shift and then uh, right click uh, to, uh, to set my 3D cursor there. Uh, this is going to be the position of symmetry or the line of symmetry for this object. So then I can hold out Ctrl L to select this mesh, Shift D, uh, then right click uh, to 
undo my, the move and then control M but make sure first you have uh, this 3d cursor set as your pivot point by holding that by pressing uh, your full stop and then selecting 3d cursor uh, uh, as the pivot point and then control M uh, then the direction or the axis of the mirror so X you can see I think it's mirrored it in this direction uh, so let's try this again control M uh, then Y uh, that mirrors it in this direction and uh, if you want it to be mirrored in the Y direction in the Z direction uh, let's put the cursor maybe here uh, shift D again control A Z and you can see so you can add in uh, details like that without uh, doing this on the side and then applying the mirror modifier so yeah that's how that's a quick tip for you uh, I'll be doing these uh, quick tips uh, hopefully daily uh, depending on how uh, this kind of goes and uh, yes yeah, so thank you for watching make sure you leave a like subscribe